Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Forum. Today we are going to talk about a physical property of material known as water absorption. So at first we'll try to understand the definition which is something like this. The ability of material to absorb and retain water is known as water absorption. So the main thing which we need to note here is this property is responsible not only for the absorption of water but it also retains it and this becomes the basic difference between water absorption and permeability. It depends on the shape, size, volume, pores etc of the material. Shape, size and volume are responsible for geometry of surface area for any particular material. And we know that surface area plays the main role in water absorption. Then after if we talk about pores, it is the only thing which allows water to enter and get retained inside any material. So in this way, factors namely shape, size, volume and pores are responsible for water absorption and it is symbolically represented by symbol small w. Now further, moving towards formula and SI unit. So the formula to find water absorption is M2 minus M1 upon M1, where M1 is the mass of dry material, that is mass of material before absorption of water in a completely dry state and M2 is equal to mass of saturated material. That is any material in a completely saturated state which has absorbed the maximum water it can absorb. And as it is the ratio of the mass of any material, it is unitless. Or we can even say that it is constant. So this was all about the physical property of material which is water absorption. Thank you for watching.